Hi, I'm going to be doing a review of Windows Vista. It's the main login screen. Um, I suppose it's better than XP. But, um, yeah. Certainly it doesn't take as long to log in as XP did. Um, but I think it takes a little longer to boot. <coughs> okay, it's just loading up. Okay, the first thing I want to talk to you about is the sidebar. Which I'm sure you've already seen in other videos, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, these little things are called gadgets, and you can do some nice things with them, like there's weather, which could be quite useful. Um, notes, there's an um, instant messaging tool, and moving on, um, the icons in Windows Vista are very nice, very nice. Definitely a lot higher resolution than in XP. But probably the feature I like the most is the start menu. Not only is it nice and transparent, um, but it has an instant search. Um, so if I just said note, notepad comes up, present it, and it opens. So that's very useful. You can say what you like if you think it's just a rip off of Spotlight, because I won't agree or disagree with you. Um, Still, it's nice to have it in Windows. Um, just take a look at the new Windows Explorer. Um, yeah, not all that different. They put buttons you use more commonly there, which is good. Search just about everywhere. Again, icons a lot nicer. Um, you can make them as big as you like. Lots of different views quite good. Um, again, nice and transparent. Very nice. Um, and moving on again. A really nice feature, but in Vista, is that it comes with Media Center. Um, of course, they already have this in Media Center edition of XP, but it's nice now you get it standard with Vista. This is Vista Ultimate, by the way. I'm not sure if you get it in Basic, but I think you get it in Premium. I've turned the um, transitions off because it slows everything down. Um, you can turn it on and it does look quite a bit nicer. There, you can see it. Everything kind of looks up nicer, but it's a bit slower, so don't really use them. Um, and also, going back to the Start menu, when you click all programs, they all the programs come up in a list here, which is nice, but in some ways I preferred the old one. Um, hopefully this bug will be fixed in... Um, Service Pack 1 for Vista that should be coming out shortly, but I've had lots of trouble with my internet, which was fine in XP, using all the same hardware and drivers specific for Vista, but I've had lots of trouble with it. Um, working now, I think. Just open up Firefox and take a look. Okay, working now. Touch wood. Um, and of course, everybody wants to see Flip 3D. I don't think it's nice or even that nice to look at. Um, just kind of a burden on your computer, CPU. But I will show it to you anyway. It doesn't run as smooth as I'd like it to on this computer. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I had to stop because my camera ran out of memory. Um, I was just going to try and say I have 
Vista running on this laptop here. Um, and has considerably worse specifications than that computer. But Flip 3D seems to run better. Um, surprisingly enough, um, I probably use this computer more often because it's still running XP and everything works and I don't have thousands of driver issues like I do with Vista. Um, anyway, back to Vista. Um, something I'm just going to touch on is um, <coughs> Dream Scene, which is an ultimate extra for Vista Ultimate. I have another video about Dream Scene that you can look at, but I'm going to show you in the review anyway. So if I just go into Desktop Background, and it's freezing up on me, um, and I look in here. I only have two videos because I don't ever use Dream Scene because it slows everything down horrendously. But it is nice to look at when the computer isn't doing anything. And you can see the jellyfish are moving. It's very smooth, um, but when you start doing heavy tasks with your computer, it's, you know, very framey. Um, so, like I said, I don't really tend to use it. Still, you could just pause it and use that as a nice background. Um, the games are quite good in Vista. Really surprisingly. Um, they all have really nice visual effects like that, I could watch that start all day. Very good. Um, Minesweeper's good. Well, I'm looking through the camera so I can't see what I'm clicking. Um, I mean like the effects when I hit a bomb, which I always do on the third click, is very good. Um, I think that says exit, there you go. Okay, um, and probably one of the biggest innovations for Vista, if not the only innovation, is parental control. Which is surprisingly good. I mean, there are, um, say, there is parental control software you can buy out there separately for XP, but is not as good and obviously it probably pays to have it built into the operating system. Okay, I've set up two accounts. This is mine and an account I made for my um, family which they never use because they all have their own computers but I just made it to see what the family co uh, parental controls is like. So if I go into here I can turn it on or off activity reporting and what that is, is it collects all the information about what that user does on their computer. Like here, it says top 10 websites visited, top 10 websites blocked, web overrides, okay, file downloads, file downloads blocked, applications ran, games played, email, instant messages. I mean, um, very, you know, you you had children on here and you wanted to keep an eye on them and what they're doing then that could be quite good um, there's web restrictions so you can restrict websites that are inappropriate um, you can even choose when they're allowed to use the computer which is you know very clever you've got to grant Microsoft on that they've done that quite well um, you can control sorry the camera ran out of memory again um, because it's an HD camera and I haven't got a huge memory stick. Anyway, um, 